way, so on the video we're looking down there, and that's where I want the... Right, sorry. I'm going to pop that there. Is that okay? Yeah. Doesn't really make much odds to me. I, I am trained in the viewing of things on a computer. Have you watched videos before? I, I have! I have also used a computer before. I found this wicked site called YouTube. What's that? Tell me more. Someone tweeted it at me. This What's guy. Tweet? It's a short message of no more than 140 words. Characters. <laughs> oh, that's why I always go wrong and it never lets me send anything. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> this sent us a video that okay. I think we should watch I like together. Bill. Bill's, Bill's lovely. Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Bill Ramey. Mr. Bill Wolf. The notorious Bill. The infamous Bill. That's what you contractually need to call him if you ever <laughs> mention him in a copyright. video on YouTube. Big TM. <laughs> Ding! That'd be a C for copyright. It's trademarked. Oh, well, yeah, but he's trademarked it as well. It's as well as copyright. It's Mr. It. Bill Wolf. Trademark Limited Copyright Incorporated. <laughs> You've got to add that when you refer to him, otherwise he'll sue right. you. And speaking of suing us, um, we're going to play Can his video. He's going to sue us because I'm going to recreate his video and put it on my channel. Hi kids, it's Mr. Beowulf and I'm about to play Sleuth. That's not what I thought Let's go back to a time when computers didn't have high-end graphics cards or even sound cards. I don't know, what did you think it would sound He's, like? I don't know, but I, I don't know what I thought, but... So I would like him to play um, Farming Simulator 2013 <laughs> on his channel. He could talk about the growing of corn for hours and I would listen to Where's it. Where's he from? Do you know whereabouts in America? Somewhere where they <laughs> talk about grow corn. corn. That's that's really <laughs> that's bad. So isn't it? I can't believe I just said that. Do you think he also wears a flannel red shirt and a cap? <laughs> and spits chewing tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> uh, carry on. Shall I start from the beginning? Yeah, I think okay. so. Just playing sleuth. Someone's going to be murdered. Murdered. You know, I was about to say, if I was going to set up a private detective office, I couldn't set it up in New York. The uh, It would drive me mad. Just that like accent. people are going, moidered. People, yeah. There's been a moider! <laughs> I don't think I'll get to it right after I finish this boiga! Thank you. It's Mr. Bill Wolf and I'm about to play sleuth. It's because it... No, don't worry. Back to a time when computers didn't have high-end graphics cards or even sound cards. The time when a basic IBM computer and green screen monitor cost several thousand dollars and didn't come with a hard drive. In fact, hard drives were more expensive than computers back then. In short, let's go back to 1983, which, sadly, is the year in which I graduated from high school. When were you born? I would have been <laughs> celebrating my minus one th birth first birthday. <laughs> one. <laughs> That's now a number. One of those games was Sleuth, a text-based murder mystery in which you have to investigate a murder in a mansion. The gameplay comprises moving an ASCII character from room to room in a mansion, examining items and questioning suspects. If you find a murder weapon and think you know who the murderer is, you can gather everyone and make an accusation. So it's Cluedo then? It's Cluedo, or Good. Clue, as they call it in the States. Oh, did, they did you not know that? I yeah, did not know that. Is it, it also clue. made by MB? Is it made by MB over here? I don't know. Is it not Parker Brothers? Oh, I don't know. Parker Brothers. Parker Brothers. Back to the video. Anyway. But be warned, at a certain point in the game, the murderer begins stalking you, and you may be the next victim. Also, when you make an accusation, you have to be in the room where the murder took place. But figuring this out is the hardest part of the game, and I must confess that I've never quite figured out how to determine where the murder has Imagine taken place. Imagine if that was a rule. What's that? You had to, if you're a police officer, you could only arrest someone and accuse them at the murder scene. Ooh, that'd be... That'd be inconvenient. Yeah. Also, do we have to pay £7.50 each 
Oh, I worked this out. No. It would be 1645 in today's money. I went through the hassle oh, of working okay. that out in, in an inflation Each. calculator. I'd rather if pay you find seven. this program entertaining, a seven dollar fifty contribution is suggested. Yeah, but, I guess that applies to everyone who is entertained by it. But so everyone that watches the video Build we're watching, video. Yeah. and also the video we're watching, recording, so we need to contribute money, mm -hmm. and everyone that watches needs to contribute money. Be warned. I mean, Bill's at the time of me speaking already got forty six views. This is racking up. It is. So, this guy. Eric Miller <laughs> is going to have a field day when he opens his mail next Who week. Who is Eric Miller? Can we find Eric Miller and give him a check? I think that's a project for another video. Let's get back to this one. We'll come back to this point later. We will. We a will particularly though. fun feature of Sleuth is that you can create the names of the victim and the suspects. So you can put your friends in the game and one of them will be murdered. Let's do that now with some of my YouTube and Twitter friends. Uh oh. Suspect number one. I can think of no better first suspect. I'm calling it right now. Than gameplay Jimmy. She's a murderer. <laughs> Why? She's a psychopath. Yeah? Look down her Twitter feed. Okay. Just, there's something underlying and bubbling beneath the surface. I mm. just think. Suspect number two is Signal. I don't know Signal. I should uh, look him. And or I suspect that he's a hobbit, but then again, I think that everyone who lives in New Zealand is a hobbit. Talking about <laughs> national stereotypes. <laughs> suspect number three is Zeke Eden, clown prince of YouTube. Is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> I've often wondered how to pronounce my surname. Suspect number four, what's a good murder mystery without a married couple? Possibility that one spouse might murder the other is delicious. Very high possibility of that happening yeah. at some point. Julia, who in to being lovely... Smart and talented is no doubt long suffering. I'm just saying. Suspect number five. Let me put in myself. I, of course, am an international man of mystery and a bon vivant. I also have the world's largest collection of frozen pizzas. I believe that. <laughs> I totally believe that. So let's go with the witty and urbane Timo Warner. Hey, Timo. Final suspect. Every murder mystery needs a guest star. Tonight's special guest star on Sleuth. He did it. I'm honored. I'm honored to be in this with Grumpy Cat. He's no longer with us. On the other hand, there's an uncanny resemblance between the two. <laughs> All right, that's our roster of suspects. Now it's time for murder. Signal was brutally murdered only hours ago. Oh, Signal's dead, so he's not the murderer. Oh. You're now standing at the front door of the state. The door is open. And I wonder he's getting murdered if he's leaving his front door open. <laughs> Flipping idiot. We need the magnifying glass in order to examine... The clues. The clues. You've got to examine your clues. Do some sleuthing. Let's examine a piano. It seems to be a standard 88 key musical instrument. Okay, well, it's not the murder weapon. <laughs> Unless it was dropped on his head. Acme style. <laughs> he goes in the next room and finds an anvil. <laughs> A large divan sits in the middle of the room. Many overstuffed chairs are arrayed around the edge of the room. An ornate hourglass is in a heavy silver frame. The, the feng shui of that room is dreadful. Now we're in the dining room. Aha, there's Zeke. Let's question him. Zeke shrugs nonchalantly and says, I spent the entire evening with Timo in the bedroom. <gasps> oh, I'm in the box now. You were doing what with who in the bedroom? Do you want to leave the room for a minute while I just I just need to kind of watch this bit, <laughs> and then I'll I'll let you know. I'll bring you back in in a minute. Private we were matters. working on some private matters the whole time. Oh my! Frankly, I have no idea what the other guests were doing when Signal was murdered. Cheers, Bill. So I'm either a cheat or I'm a murderer. I know a secret. So it is the whole bloody world now. Thanks, Bill. Gameplay Jenny is studying a calorie chart hanging on the wall. Well, that's pretty Jenny-like. That is totally Jenny-like. Jenny would be doing Let's that. Let's examine the quail. Looks quite delicious. How funny would it be if I was actually the murderer because I found out my husband was cheating on me with someone called Timo, who's a <laughs> hobbit, as I seem to remember. <laughs> I am cheating on a New Zealand hobbit, yeah. On, no, I'm not. I'm cheating on my wife with a New Zealand hobbit. I'm cheating on a New Zealand hobbit. That's one sentence I wasn't expecting to say today. Let's question Jenny. 
Gameplay Jenny replies in an angry voice. Mr. Beowulf and I spent the entire evening together in the dining room, eating cheese and crackers and playing Parcheesi. And I simply cannot believe that anyone in this house would have had the bad taste to commit murder. Though I sometimes think that Julia is capable of almost anything. Hmm. All right. We'll You've made an enemy in Jenny. You've never met <laughs> Zeke claims to have been in the bedroom all evening with Timo Warner. Waka waka na na now. <laughs> waka waka na na now. Our task now is to find out if Timo and Mr. Beowulf can corroborate Zeke's and Jenny's alibi. Alright, let's move to the room below the kitchen. That was very pregnant. <laughs> to the bedroom. Now, having played this before, I happen to know that there's a secret passageway into that little room there. I'm still having a good old look at the silverware. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not doing anything, certainly not having an affair. <laughs> oh, there it is. You are walking through a blind corridor in the secret passageway. <laughs> no, where am I? Ah, back in the living room. Our house does That's that, have you noticed? <laughs> yeah. It's Grumpy Cat. Piecing back and forth. <laughs> I'm gonna examine the ashtray first. Nope, not the murder weapon. All right, let's talk to Grumpy Cat. Can I get your prediction on what you think the murder weapon might be? So what we had, what? So they had an ashtray. Been a decanter, an ashtray, a can a of time piece. <laughs> can of accessoires and the silverware was that. I don't even know now. I think it was the decanter. Staring, you were just okay. looking at it, and like the kleptomaniac you are, and <laughs> jangling uh, <laughs> around the house. <laughs> it would be it would be very hard to sneak around and have an affair with, with bucket loads of cutlery in my <laughs> coat jingle pockets. Jingle. Guess who's coming to a fair? <laughs> you up, Timo? <laughs> you up? That's something terrifying you can think about when you go to bed tonight. <laughs> Tastes really funny. <laughs> That was a, that was a moida joke for you, for you. Okay, here's the study. Oh, there's Temo. Let's see if he corroborates uh, Zeke's alibi. I kind of hope he doesn't. I spent the entire evening with Zeke in the bedroom. Now, if you ask me, Julia is the only person who hated signal enough to commit murder. Maybe that's who you should be questioning. I agree. Oh and I my. think if you don't throw her in prison quick enough, she's going to stab me. Alright, there's the master bedroom. There's Jenny again. We've already talked to her. Let's examine the mirror. She is around, so yeah. to speak. <laughs> the mirror is broken. Hmm, well that's kind of suspicious. I'd say. Well, there's Mr. Bill Wolf. He's in a chair reading Wizard of Oz. That's kind of Bill Wolfy. Let's question him. I spent the entire evening with gameplay in the dining room. Of course, it comes as no surprise that you would suspect me. I'm sure the others have told you how much I hate it. I like Bill is so um, intimately familiar with uh, Jenny. She just gameplay. <laughs> game play. Yeah. Now that we've questioned other suspects, let's compare statements. What about me? I am out of the frame. Well, but into the fire pan. Please don't stab me, because then you're going to have two murders on your hands, and then it's a mass murder. Is two a mass murder? Yeah. It's a double homicide. Yeah. If you kill me, got a double homicide. That's alright, it's not and mass murder. And yes, I am already assuming that you killed the first person. Thanks. Signal. So. Why? Why would I do so, then? It's either you or, um, Signal. No, because then that would be a suicide. <laughs> suicide. <laughs> no, it's either you or Grumpy Cat. What? For oh, because what about? Oh, yeah, because everyone else. Or game pay Jenny because she accused me. So therefore, she's got a, she's obviously got a motive of accusing me. So she if does. She she's really hating me. And Bill Wolf are working together to kill the other guy, and then they're blaming me. I am the innocent in all this. What about grumpy cat? You left out grumpy cat. Well, it's a cat. And we haven't heard your side of the story. I don't think. I think if it gives you. I hope it gives me corroboration. Talk. Yeah, well, let's let's find out because oh, I would like to hear your bit, side I too. I feel a bit persecuted right okay. now. Good thing. 
That leaves the mysterious Julia, whom we have not seen. So I need to track down Julia and find out what she has Damn to right say. Damn right you do. Unfortunately, the murderer has grown suspicious of my investigation, so I need to find Julia quick. I'm just staring at the floor. <laughs> I'm wondering how I'm going to save my marriage. <laughs> With a murderer. I I'm not helping myself by not being found. No, you're really not. I, I am growing ever more suspicious of you. But, that said, wherever you are, you're obviously staying in one place. Everyone else is being a bit shifty and moving around and staring at floors and calorie charts and things. You're, you're just chilling. You're probably just reading a book somewhere, going, what's happened? The murderer is now stalking me, so this means I'm in grave danger. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and pick up the murder weapon. Yeah, do it. And then I'm going to gather everyone in a master bedroom. Going into the master bedroom, and I'm going to gather everyone. The door is now locked. Ooh. You locked yourself in right, with a- gonna... You locked yourself in with a murderer?! <laughs> <gasps> and I've just I seen- know. I know what he's going to die! I know! I'm really sad about this. Are you ready? Yeah. Use Julia. Julia stands up and exclaims, You fool, yes, I used the hairbrush to get rid of Signal, but I did it in the kitchen, not here in the bedroom. Oh, you idiot! <laughs> did it in the kitchen? Oh, what kind of sleuth are you? Are you kidding? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> so are you off scot free? Um, because. <clears throat> yeah, because he didn't put me in the location! <laughs> even though you just admitted it. Well, there you have it. Julia killed Signal in a kitchen with a hairbrush, and I'm sure she's going to be having an interesting conversation with Zeke. I'm sure she is. I think we've all learned something in tonight's episode. Nobody likes Signal. <laughs> if you want to give Sleuth a try, I'll put a download <laughs> link below to it and to DOSBox, which is necessary to run Sleuth on modern computers. If you'd like to see another episode of Sleuth, and if you want to be a guest star, let me know. Thanks for watching, and... Look out! Behind you! <laughs> that was great. Um, well, that was a learning experience for us all, I feel. Um, yeah. I think everyone should write in to Bill and get him to do that again. Um, I'd like to see him nail it. I want to know what happens if he gets it right and in the location and, and everything. Yeah. So, yeah, if you, if you enjoyed that, um, obviously the link to the original video so you can watch it without interruption is in the box below. But yeah, send Bill a message. His details will be somewhere here. Um, and be on Sleuth. It'll be quite good fun. I've been Zeke. And I've been Julia. You on Twitter? I am. You on Google Plus? I am. Excellent. There'll be some links around her chest area. <laughs> um, there are mine. <laughs> my links, not my, you know. There we go. Cheers for watching. But I do feel like I was persecuted from the off. What's you you weren't persecuted, you killed someone. Jenny? Why does Gameplay Jenny not like me? Because you're a murderer. But she didn't know that. She just pointed well, the she finger. Well, she did. She did know that, as evidenced by her saying, I think Julia killed someone. No, no. No. That's not evidence. That is speculation. A woman's intuition. She got mm. it bloody right, didn't she? Yeah, well, can't say a lot about you. You were up having an affair. Blame. No. Need to look good for the internet. <laughs> so, I'm vain because I'm cleaning my glasses, but you're... You're not vain, even though you spend half an hour getting make yourself a little lovely in the morning to go to work and... I have um, to leave the house. I have to see the internet. They don't see the internet. They see me. <laughs> yes, but you can't see their reaction to you. I can't... Oh, are you kidding me? Unless they comment. If, yeah, and nothing stops them from commenting. <laughs> oh, Zeke, you look <laughs> today. No the one's ever said that. What the f*** is wrong no with your hair? No one's ever said that to you. Oh, you know who you look like? <laughs> Ken Dodd.